ass. Hope I don't bump into my stepdad. Could he say mental abuse is worse than physical? Yo, right, guys, what's going on? So, I'm gonna do a quick video today. Um, basically, just five things I don't like about my car. Like, it's actually quite hard to think about five things I don't like about it because I do like it so much and they're such like great cars. But these kind of picky things. Well, some of them aren't very picky. But some are pretty serious that I really don't like. Um, but the like about three of them are just pretty picky things uh, that just get on my nerves sometimes. So I hope you enjoy the video. Right. So the first thing I really don't like about Fiestas is the placement of the armrest to the gear stick. Um, I'll try and show you now what I mean. But it's just you can't rest your arm on the armrest. Well, you probably can if you've got really long arms. But for a normal sized person. You can't rest your arm on the armrest and hold the gear stick at the same time or change gear or whatever. So it's kind of annoying because you have to move back and forward all the time if you want to like lean on the armrest. Let me try and explain what I mean. So if you put your elbow on the armrest like you're driving and you've got your arm there, a lot of cars you can just have your hand resting on the gear stick. But unless you like literally have like stretch your arm as much, it's pretty much impossible to, to try and change gear because your arm just comes off the armrest. So that's like the first annoying thing I don't like about the car. It's just not comfortable uh, to keep moving your arm all the time. So you just end up not using the armrest and just have like holding your hand on the gear stick. Um, the second thing I don't like about this car is the dash. In my opinion for a, for like a 65 plate car, I mean they only changed the design of them in, it was, I think it was a 17 plate. So I think the 67 plates were like the new design with a redesigned interior, redesigned exterior. But the dash is literally so outdated for a 17 plate car. Like it literally just looks like a mobile phone. It's just it's just ugly and I don't like it. Some people do like it, but it's just a very outdated thing. And the actual system itself isn't that fast. It's pretty laggy sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's the second thing I really don't like about the car. Now this third thing is a pretty big thing. Like it really does annoy me because... A lot of cars that have got less power than the Fiesta, uh, the 140 brake edition, um, have calipers on the back, discs and uh, calipers on the back, and the Fiesta only has drums. So obviously on the front you've got the normal brake discs, they're quite small as, as they are like, but you've got brake discs and calipers on the front. And when you move to the back, you've just literally got shitty drums. Like in my opinion it just doesn't look right, it just looks a bit dodgy when you're looking at it side on, and you can see the arches kind of like, sitting over the wheels. Um, so again, if you're going to get one, I definitely recommend um, wheel spaces as well if you're going to start modifying your car and stuff. The fourth thing I don't like about the car is how in the wheels sit um, to the actual like body kit of the car. So a lot of people tend to buy spaces and stuff. Uh, in the last video, Tom put 20mm spaces on the front of his uh, car. But we sit in so much in the arches and it just kind of looks weird. I'll try and get an angle now to show you how it kind of looks weird. Like in my opinion, it just doesn't look right. It just looks a bit dodgy when you're looking at it side on. And you can see the arches kind of like sitting over the wheels. Um, so again, if you're going to get one, I definitely recommend um, wheel spaces as well if you're going to start modifying your car and stuff. And this bit's really petty now, but I, like I said, I kind of struggle to find five things. Obviously, if you've got a Fiesta and you've got things you really don't like about the car, make sure you comment them below. Um, but these are the ones I kind of thought of. And from experience... Um, literally never touched it before like ever once and it's just fell out and it didn't clean back in so i presume like the the actual like um clips are broke on the on the cover thing i don't know if that's only like a small thing but i've had to order a new one and they're 10 quid so like if it's happened and i've never even touched it before and i know quite a few people have had the same problem where they've had to buy a new one and it's costing 10 quid but it's a bit annoying and we kind of should have done something about it because I've seen a lot of people complain about that little thing on uh, the forums and stuff like that. Oh, to throw in the last one, I can't believe I forgot it. The worst thing about Fiestas is they're literally, especially the push to start ones like the STs, um, they're like renowned for being stolen. And that's kind of the main reason why I'm shying away from buying an ST for my next car rather than a Polo. Um, and the main reason is because I presume this is the main reason. With insurers, like... I'll use the Polo for an example. The Polo is a 1.8 turbo. The ST is a 1.6 turbo. They've both got like a sporty name, but GTI and an ST. Um, they're both hot hatches. So in reality, you'd think that the Polo would have would basically be a bit more expensive to insure, considering that it's a more expensive car as well. So if you crash it, we're going to have to pay out more money. Um, but the, the ST is something stupid, like three uh, £2,000 more. I think I got a quote for an ST at three five. And the Polo GTI averages around one thousand five hundred per like quota do. So an extra two grand to insure the car, presumably because they get stolen so often. I mean, if you go on those like stupid Instagram pages where people are robbing cars and shit, like those little kids fucking around, they're literally all STs. Like most of them are STs that are getting stolen, and it's always on the forums. Like my ST has been stolen, like reported if you see it. 
Um, so that's kind of a main thing about STs. So that's why it's a really good idea to purchase one of these steering locks. Um, I think the best ones are the disc locks, but they're about 100, I think they're over a hundred pound. It's basically like a whole drum kind of thing, but it's the shape of your steering wheel that you slot over your steering wheel. Um, but these ones are stop locks. You can get them from uh, Euro car parts and I think you can get them from Halfords as well. They're only about 45 quid. Um, just to like, for peace of mind, I definitely recommend getting one. I mean, obviously they can still rob your car, but I always think that if your car's over with a stop lock on or a steering lock, and then there's another Fiesta within a mile away that they've seen as well that hasn't got a steering lock on, they're obviously going to rob the one that's not got a lock on. Um, so like I said, we can obviously get through it, but it's kind of just a deterrent that shies them away from doing it, just because it's a lot more hassle for them. Right guys, so that's it for this video. I'll be doing uh, five things I like about the Fiesta as well. Uh, that should be a pretty easy thing to do because I honestly love this car. I'm kind of sad that I'm getting rid of it. But like I said, I'm on to bigger and better things. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching lads. Uh, please leave a like, please subscribe. Remember to turn notifications on um, because like I said, if you've not got notifications on for some reason, YouTube stupid way, you don't get notified when I upload a video. Um, so yeah, make sure you've got notifications on. Um, still thinking about something to do for the thousand subscribers. Um, I've been speaking to Blue Goblin Carca, and I think they're gonna send me out a little package to kind of show to you guys on YouTube, and then use them on my car and do a little review on them. So hopefully, I might be able to work something out with them if all goes well. Um, but that video should be out sometime next week. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.